Alrighty, welcome everybody to uh, Seven Days to Die. This is Mike, and I plan on doing a, a little uh, base building tutorial. I have a very simple but very effective uh, base that I like to build um, for vanilla style uh, playthroughs. I don't do the insane or crazy type, uh, you know, thousand horde type uh, games. I like to keep it simple and uh, keep it fun. Uh, so this is going to be uh, set basically to uh, all the defaults. Um, we got adventure, uh, adventurer setting, which is the default daylight. Everything else is uh, set the same. The only thing that I have changed is the drop on death. I try to keep everything on me. I'm not a, you know, a permadeath type uh, player. And I've also turned on the cheat mode in case I want to do a flyover. I don't do the, uh, creative build or the creative, uh, mode where I can just grab any, anything whatsoever. This is just so I can do, uh, flyovers and stuff like that, as well as some, some debugging type things. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this thing started and I'll see you once the game gets going. Alrighty, welcome everybody. Uh, as I mentioned before, this is just going to be uh, primarily focusing on the base building itself. Uh, so all of the playthrough, you know, the quests and, and all that sort of stuff, I'm going to I'm gonna cut all out. This is all going to be focusing on how I build. Um, I will show you uh, how I'm putting my experience points in and where um, to be able to get to this point. And this allows me to build a fully functional um, horde base uh, by the first night. Um, again, this is something that's very effective and it can be expanded on as time goes by um, so that you're not uh, stuck with the same uh, same sort of setup uh, throughout the whole game. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cut through all the tutorials here and I'll meet you uh, once we get to the uh, the trader. Alrighty, we have arrived here at uh, Trader Gins, which is a great uh, place to start. Uh, it is uh, kind of centrally located on the, uh, the main navigating map. Um, so you're going to... You're in a really good position to uh, to hit a lot of the uh, different quests. So let's go in here and say hi. We'll go ahead and uh, check and see what uh, sort of uh, functional benches that we have here. So we do have a functional uh, chemistry station. That is nice, as though it's not something that I need right away. Um, one thing I really hope is working is her workbench destroyer. That's a shame. Um, but I tend to um, I tend to go ahead and scale up to that anyway because I want to be able to build my stuff uh, right away without having to rely on luck. Um, in order to be able to uh, to craft what I need and a destroyed forge. Oh, got some good stuff and let's go ahead and grab that. And we should have our cement mixer over here. We'll go ahead and search the rest of this later on. As well. So we also have a fun functional uh, cement mixer. Uh, again, I will eventually uh, skill up to that, but it's nice to know that uh, we have something like that here. So let's go ahead, say hello to Jen. Get our points and whatnot. Dragon. Let's kind of see what she has in her inventory. To see what we can we can start gearing towards. Uh, I would really like to be able to get a weapon. Uh, I think most people would like to do that. Uh, something simple, a double barrel shotgun would be uh, perfect, um, or a pistol. Either one of those is great. Uh, so she does have an AK machine gun for only 400. Um, that is actually really really nice to start off with. Uh, I wonder what we can sell. Um, let me go ahead and swap this out. We'll go ahead and scrap you. Um, what can we sell you right off the bat? I'm gonna go. I, I will start keeping all of my, um, all of my uh, brass, um, eventually. But at this stage, um, I'm gonna be uh, kind of selling what I can in order to be able to get that because that is a great thing to have straight off the bat. It's only 400 dukes. Uh, so I think I what we need to do better. is go ahead and get our first job. Uh, we have a fetch. So we sell fetches. And they're all a long ways away. Holy cow. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and I like to start building my base almost right off the bat. Um, and this is actually a very good location to build the first base. Uh, she's got this nice flat area over here to the side, uh, which is great for, for building a, a first base and, a, and a pretty much a permanent base. So I'm just going to start and, and clearing a bunch of resources um, and start uh, working on building my my base and this is going to be where i'm going to be holding up um, i generally do not use existing pois for my first nights unless i have to unless i'm a long ways away from the uh, the trader base and i can't build something right away now what i'm looking for uh regardless of what uh, map i'm in i'm looking for a flat area preferably on a hill but again this is this is perfectly fine uh something that is relatively close to a trader as well as being kind of in the countryside, but close to some sort of civilization, uh, because that's kind of where a lot of your quests are going to be starting off is in these uh, in these POIs that are in a city or something like that. Uh, so this is a good a good centralized location 
um, that works out well um, for, for starting up a base. So I'm just going to be gathering some resources here, take care of whatever zombies uh, decide to come and say hello to me. So we got a few of you guys here. We got a Dean and a Bo. I'll go ahead and take care of y'all. How you Dean? How you doing? Come to say, do a housewarming here for me. So I do use the club as my primary uh, melee weapon. Um, and then depending on what I, you know, what I find or are able to buy, uh, I'll skill up on those particular weapons. I tend to like to have um, some sort of, uh, you know, automatic uh, machine gun, either AK or a tactical assault rifle. Um, and a pistol and an inner shotgun. I don't use a shotgun all that much, um, except for Horde Knight. A shotgun tends to be pretty destructive, and it has a chance of actually destroying some of your, uh, uh, some of your loot, uh, before you get a chance to actually gather it. Uh, so I will see you again as soon as I clear up some trees and start, uh, building some building blocks. So as I'm gathering resources, I need to go ahead and get the uh, points that I've earned so far um, established. Uh, I've been going kind of around the area and marking out the uh, resources that I find. I'm definitely looking for uh, for an iron deposit so I can use that to help reinforce my door and my hatches for my base. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at our, our skill points so far and uh, see where we want to put them. Now we tend to put, I, I tend to go heavy on the intellect side of the house because I do want to do a lot of the crafting on my own. I don't like relying on luck to find blueprints or, or whatnot. Um, but at this very beginning, I tend to also go with what a lot of people do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put a point into Paul Pete since I will be uh, skilling up for the club. Uh, sex, uh, sexual Tyrannosaurus is always a good one. Um, go here on the intellect side. I want to be able to build um, a uh, forge as quickly as possible. Uh, so I'll go ahead and put a point there and eventually I'll want to be able to put a point into Tinkerer so I can get my uh, my workbench and cement mixtures uh, skilled up. Um, I still have one more point. So I want to say, let's see, what do we want to do here? This is a tough one. Usually the fourth point is very difficult. I'll go ahead and throw that into Lucky Looter just to help us uh, get some good stuff along the way. Um, so as I'm going around, I'm just uh, gathering as many rocks and as many uh, as much wood as I can. Uh, so we can get the the very basics uh, set up for our for our base. Um, so as soon as I uh, get to that point, I will come back and we'll, we'll look about uh, the layout of this. All right, it looks like we're about ready to uh, start building our base. I, I did encounter a wolf and uh, was able to kill him, but uh, somehow he infected me. I'm not exactly sure how uh, wolves uh, carry the zombie disease, but uh, there you go. So I'm going to have to find me some uh, some honey or something to take care of this. We'll drop over by Jen here uh, to see if she has any. I have found some stuff. I've been kind of cruising around the area, searching through garbage and whatnot. There's usually a, you, several uh, piles of garbage over here at the entryway to the to the burnt biome. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, kind of get our, uh, our outline of our base going here so we can... Uh, unload some of this stuff and uh, get ourselves unencumbered. So the basis of this whole uh, fighting base is a five by five tower. Very, very simple. And it's a, uh, a very effective and efficient way of uh, using your resources. Now I'll decide where I'm gonna put my entryway. It's gonna be only gonna be a temporary entryway. Um, we will be using uh, some uh, some features to uh, to get our way in there. I left my spear over here when I first tried to to, to attack this wolf. He said I, I tried to build myself a little tower, but he broke through that pretty quickly. So <laughs> I'm not very good at the uh, with thrown or uh, projectile weapons. So come on, pick up. There we go. All right. I'm here. So let's just go ahead and kind of build this up a few levels so we can get get a storage box built. Let's go ahead and get three of those going here. Storage chest, we'll get three of you going. And we're just gonna go ahead and build this on up. So we're just gonna start off with three layers just to get ourselves going here. Uh, and then we'll, uh, once we drop over by Jen, uh, we'll take it here. We're gonna see if she's got any medicine that she can, uh, we can take care of this infection. Uh, it takes a while for the infection to actually start affecting you. Um, I believe it's 16% is when it starts to taking a hit on your health. Um, 
I'm just going to go ahead and put my temporary uh, passageway right here. So let's go ahead on this side and throw up our chests. And we want you, come on. There we go. One, two, three. So here we'll have our campfire and here we'll have a forge and whatnot as we're ready to go. So let's just go ahead and just dump everything we got in here for now. Uh, that's a shame. So um, we're going to have to uh, kind of keep our eyes open for some stumps. I did uh, did come across them as I was heading over here. Um, and I did try to harvest and see if I can get some honey out of them, but no, no luck. Uh, so we'll just kind of let that go for now. And we'll go ahead and start, uh, start on our base here just to kind of get it improved. Now the, um, we'll go ahead and get a door and a hatch started. I have been looking around for an iron deposit with no luck yet. Uh, so we may have to rely on just wood for the time being. Um, so let's go ahead and start improving this. I always start at the second level. Go ahead and get you fixed up. Always start on the second level. Because uh, that's where your zombies are going to be attacking, you know, first and foremost. Uh, what I like to do is to reinforce uh, the outside corners uh, very first. Uh, that way if I need to... Uh, you know, if darkness comes around, um, I can do the rest of the improvement from the inside. But I do want, how much stone do I have? I don't have a whole lot of stone. Uh, so let's go ahead and get enough stone as well as enough clay uh, so we can at least do that second row up to cobblestone. Go ahead and get some cobblestone going here. How many can I make? I do want to not make... Oh, that's good. I'm going to hold on to a handful of stones uh, to be able to upgrade or to repair all... Oh, here we go. Maybe we'll get some honey. Come on, honey. Give us some honey. There we go. Awesome. Let's take care of this infection. Sweet. All right. We are getting a little bit hungry, but these first days... Um, the game is a little bit more lenient um, as far as your food consumption, your water, to give you a chance to uh, start finding stuff. Um, generally, I will have already been doing a couple of quests, at least this first day. Um, berry supplies or something like that is usually the first one. Uh, it seems like that's changed again in Alpha 19 where uh, you're not necessarily guaranteed a berry treasure quest the first day. Um, but we'll check in the morning and see if there's a new berry chest. They're also giving you quests that are considerably farther away. Uh, you notice uh, all those were, you know, 900 meters or more away, which is just uh, crazy insane. I'm going to stop you so I can repair this. And we'll get you going again. Again, holding on to a handful of rocks for, for repairs. Actually, I should also, let me go ahead and make a campfire as well before I use up all of my, uh, all of my stone and my clay. So let's go ahead and pop our door up here. Where did our door go? We did create a door, didn't we? Apparently we didn't. Get you crafted. Let's get all the grass in here cleared out. There we go. Let's go ahead and pop our campfire down. Um, I, I'm going to go ahead and put a frame down to put the campfire on because I have uh, accidentally uh, stood on my own campfire and burned myself. So uh, this is how I prevent that from happening again. Um, let's see if we have any tin cans that we can scrap. I'm not seeing anything in here. That's a shame. Uh, we do have a tiny bit of... of, of uh, scrap iron so that's really not going to do us any good let's go ahead and get our door and our hatch set up here for our defenses uh, let's see right here and we'll rotate that like so 
and then our hatch is going to go on the ground just like that and perfectly lined up the first time around that way as we have anybody come by to visit us we can uh, kind of block them here um to keep them from coming in totally but it looks like we're only going to get these upgraded to wood that's a shame um but it is what it is we'll just have to keep our eyes on it to make sure we uh we don't uh get a breakthrough uh, before it's too late. Now we're just going to leave this open for the time being. Uh, you don't have to worry about vultures these first couple of nights. Uh, you should be in relative safety. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop ourselves in. It's starting to get ready to uh, get dark here. So let's, um, again, we'll start on our second layer here. We'll do that up to a double layer or a double level. And let's also go ahead and get, make a few ladders so we can jump up on top if we need to. So we're going to play the coward the first night. We're just going to uh, lock ourselves in here. Um, if we hear any noise, we're going to squat down and be as quiet as possible. And hopefully let them uh, wander by. If they come come by, we'll uh, just whack at them uh, through the doorway here. All right. Um, so can we go ahead and can we hop up here? There we go. I'm going to go ahead and put up another layer. Just to give us four layers for safety's sake. In case they decide they want to stack up on each other. here and so this is what we're going to be doing tonight just working on this place um so the first thing i want to do is go ahead and get these up to cobblestone that i can so how much cobblestone do i have got 76 that's not a lot uh, let's go ahead and get some more made here and there's our nighttime again we're going to hold on to a few stones just to uh, repair stuff we're going to start with the front area and then work our way back from there because that is where they're going to be congregating is at the door. Uh, so we want to give them uh, the toughest stuff to go through uh, rather than wood. And then we'll do these ones down here. That oh, looks like we're all but Okay, so let's go ahead and get the rest of this up to wood or to double wood. And we'll just do this through the night and we'll continue on our quest in the morning. Uh, so we are, oh, our uh, infection just went away. So we are safe from that. And we are already out of help. Oh, no, that was just cobblestone. It was trying to go a little bit further there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a temporary roof on this. Um, I use half blocks for my floors slash roofs and that allows me to still be able to do upgrades from the inside um, if you do full blocks for your floors you have the possibility of getting some blocks blocked in um, where you can't get to them anymore and continue to improve them um, so by doing the half blocks dang it by doing the half blocks as opposed to the full blocks you can still uh, reach uh, your walls and your corners uh, to upgrade them as needed. Uh, so I'm going to put my arrow right there. So I'll leave this one, my ladders, excuse me, uh, right there. Let's go ahead and put those down. I do need to make one more. Um, so let's go ahead and pop you here, here, and here. Let's go make another one. So this allows us to be able to get up on the roof. If things go really bad here, we can jump up there uh, and, and make our escape, um, which I've done in the past. <laughs> now, again, this is just a temporary door. Uh, once we get to our horde night, this will be all blocked off. It'll be solid cobblestone all the way around. And we'll have a, a special entryway to get to, um, to, get to where we're uh, going to be fighting from. Again, this is just for the first few nights here. Um, so we have some place secure to... Uh, keep ourselves protected in case we have any wandering zombies come by in the middle of the night and a place to store all of our stuff, obviously. Now 
Now I'm going to go ahead and turn up the brightness on this until I get an actual uh, headlamp. I guess I already have it turned up. I tend to do that um, just so you're not watching a very dark video these early days. Um, I will still, you know, I won't take it all the way to the uh, the default, which is 50%. Um, I'll take it around 65% because with the uh, video compression and the editing software and uploading it to YouTube, uh, it tends to make it uh, darker each time you do one of those things. Um, so I'll, again, this is more for your viewing pleasure than anything else. Um, once I get, I'm able to craft my own uh, headlamp, I'll, I'll, I'll turn the brightness back down to, to again, to 65-ish, um, just to be a little more realistic. So this is basically kind of uh, how we're going to, I'm going to leave this temporary. I'm not going to improve this because I'll probably going up maybe one more layer uh, for my actual fighting platform. I got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll probably take it up one or two more layers um, where my actual fighting platform is going to be. Uh, so let's kind of take stock of our inventory, get things going here. Uh, you guys don't need to watch this. Um, so I will cut out uh, once we start uh, start the day again and start working on the build. I'll see you in a second.